Hey, Stephen Placey here, president of Rock Your Business Incorporated. You know, about three weeks ago, we had a, an estimate from a pretty large fence company here in Orlando to do a new fence around our house. Now, it's a pretty big job. Um, and, you know, I'm surprised three weeks later that we haven't had any follow-up from that company. Uh, no calls from the salesperson, no calls from the company, no emails, nothing. It's like they did the estimate, we didn't make a decision right away, so they moved on, which is ludicrous to me because to me, anytime you get to do an estimate for someone, it is all about follow-up. Uh, especially if they've invited you out to their house, then they're interested. You need to be following up consistently. Uh, drip emails, calls, uh, whatever you can do to see if you can land that client. Hey, even just a call to say, hey, have you made a decision yet? Did you go with someone else? Well, why didn't you, why didn't you choose us or why did you choose that other company? Whatever it is, that feedback alone will be huge for your company. So I'm always surprised that owners of companies, you know, just allow their salespeople to hopefully follow up. See, why assume? To me, that's ludicrous. Why assume your people are doing the follow up you expect them to do when there's ways that you can actually monitor that uh, email follow up? Uh, on automated systems can be seen. You can see the emails going out. You can see if people are opening them. You see people reacting them. You know those things are happening if your salespeople are dropping people into automated follow-up emails. After an appointment, they come back. They drop the person in an automated series. It follows up with them day one, day seven, day 14, day 21, day 28, whatever it is. You can see that it's happening. Why assume again? Because most of the time, I'm going to happen to say it's not happening. Other things you can do, there's other CRM softwares out there that you can use to track sales calls, and you need to monitor that. Because, you know, sales, some salespeople, hey, they're just horrible at follow up and they don't do it. They're not real good salespeople then. Some salespeople, yeah, they're just busy and, 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 you know, opportunities can just fall through the cracks, not by any malicious means at all. They're just busy out there trying to hustle. But I think there is a huge opportunity now to stop this uh, instant sale mentality. In other words, if people don't get instant sales or they follow up one time the day after they do the, the call or the appointment, that ah, we'll move on to somebody else because there's lower hanging fruit. See, there's, I think there's a ton of missed opportunities there where you can get a lot more money, get a lot more clients, and a lot more revenue for your business if you automate your follow-up and or track your sales follow-up. So stop letting it just hopefully happen. If you have a sales force of one or 1,000, you need to keep track of what's going on. You need to be able to see what's happening. You need to see the activity, see if people are opening things up, and that stuff's available for you. Why leave it to chance? Why hope things are happening? That's ludicrous, and that stuff will not rock your business.